Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to know that, you know, we are going through all these crazy shifts and all these different moons is popping up in everybody's astrology. You know, and every time there's shift, there's always some big answers as well as lovely blessings coming along the way with it so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to 528 Hertz uh, music for the soul, tones of healing, harmony, and mindfulness, light music for the tr for tranquility. And I will post that link in the description box below. It has Buddha in the background with the monk heading towards it, so it's like very peaceful. And I mean, it's like so serene, so I really like it. But today my video, this is my last one I'm doing for today. Um, it's called uh, uh, Twin Flame 101, Never Doubt or Question Your Situation. It was all in God's plan. It was, you know, it's just a lot of times we can really go through some really trying situations and it can bring us to some really traumatic situations that will occur along the path. And it's like sometimes we feel like we're being punished. Sometimes we feel like the more we pray, the worse things get or you feel like you know we don't we're not being heard it's just like i can just imagine well just going back and you know watching the first few videos i did for my first year i really went through a lot of hell um experienced a lot of things that i would not wish on my worst enemy seeing a lot of things that i could never unsee uh knowing things from you know so many different angles that you know has really taught me a lot um it's like things be it's just like now it's just like so many things are coming to the surface for us you know especially for me i can really feel it um and i'm just glad that i went through all these situations it's been hard you know it's, it's, it's like i said i've never <laughs> whatever anything that i went through i never wish this on my worst enemy but when i can actually see it as a you know basically a blessing then a curse you know i mean Yes, I lost my father in the process. Yes, I'm not in touch with my biological mom. But being able to know I have the strength for whatever comes my way is the blessing throughout all that situation. You know, a lot of things that occur in our life, we really don't see the full picture until the universe and God is ready for us to be able to see it. We have to go through trials and stages and chapters of our lives of growing, knowing, learning more about ourselves, educating ourselves, on our true background being able to walk down a path that we're not sure where it's going to take us you know being able to embrace your dark side as well as your light side being able to help others along the way um being able to take one for the team you know i don't took a couple of l's for the team but hey i'm all right with that i'm good you know it's just a lot of things is occurring in our lives where things are being cut off um we're getting pushed out that nest and it can be a scary situation we don't understand you know the things that are going to be occurring in your life you know um being able to be that messenger to be able to tell you you know you have that power in yourself you know a lot of times we you know we run to get that you know that person that can save our us from our troubles and you know um you know fight our battles for us but you know you can't have people fighting your battles for you all the time you know excuse me 
the burp came from the, you know from the pit of the pitness <laughs> so excuse me i apologize but you know going through all those different things you know you learn you know not everything is that occurs in your life will be pretty but it's like when everything is all said and done and it's like the more you get down your life path, the more you go down this journey of self-discovery, true self-discovery, of uh, being able to walk in your authentic self, you know, I mean, things challenge us every day and we have to be grateful for those challenges because, you know, like I tell people, anything that you don't have enough of in your life it's like everything has to be aligned you know you have to be comfortable you have to be confident you have to be able to step out the confidence zone um being able to know that you have that power into yourself knowing that you know things that you lack in your life you can be able to work on those things to manifest them to come into your life you know you have to be able to have faith within yourself and as the universe to know that you know they're not leading you out to pasture obviously when things get cut off they're allowing you to know these are the times for you to be able to see that you can be able to handle your own they got faith in you you have to be able to have that faith within yourself you know don't keep uh when things get bad don't start resurfacing on the things that have occurred in your life you know those were stages that you were supposed to endure what did you learn from it and keep moving i had to learn this and it's just like everything has just been coming like crystal clear to me today you know when you uh when you can step back and you know, without all the emotions, I tell people that all the time. Y'all, y'all know I say that. You've been with me for a while. You know, you hear me say that. You have to be able to step back and look at things from all different angles. Being able to know, you know, on this this journey, you're gonna have things that you know a lot of people are not gonna understand your journey, but it wasn't meant for them to understand. The people are are going to understand. They will know, <laughs> you know, and they're not. They're not. You know, this is your journey. A journey alone. You know, a lot of people are going on different paths and stuff like that. And it's just a blessing for me to be able to have an open community for different empaths that, you know, are struggling with things or learning different things, um, going through things and being able to find the answers that they need. Uh, it's a blessing that, you know, a lot of y'all can relate to the videos that I'm putting out, um, being able to be that messenger for you. Um, to know that everything is occurring for a reason is just being able to let you know that you have to be able to stand in your power and being able to know that, you know, whatever you need, you already have inside of you. You just have to be able to manifest it and believe, you know, these things are coming for you. Believe that you are actually worthy of them, you know, because a lot of times we can go through abuse. Um, we can go through self-doubt. We can go through self, you know, we're, we're beating self-abuse because there's a lot of times we, you know, we sabotage ourselves because we feel like you know so many bad things have occurred in our lives that you know when blessings do come it it must be a catch to it no there's not a catch basically if it was meant for you it will be for you a lot of times you know we can allow people's negative you know thinking or negative energy interfere with our blessings you know when we start concentrating worry about what other people think about us you know what they say about us that's that you lose focus on what what is really important you know when people we, we have a bad habit of judging others I, I mean I've done it <laughs> you know so I'm not even gonna lie and make it sound like I'm better than anybody else heck no I've done it too you know but that's all you know through the learning of life you know you can't judge others because you don't know what path they had to take you know you can just pray for them and hope you know that better days are coming for them you know a lot of times I you know I bash the people that hurt me you know and that basically made me know better than the people that you know put those things on me you have to be able to say okay they just showed you who they truly are just pray for them you know hurt people do hurt people you know all of us have been through something one time or another and I noticed the people that has put things on me is went through things majorly their self and you know they're they're going down their journey as well you know we're all going through different karma and karmatic cycles and i mean karmic cycles and generational curses so it's just like a lot of us you know we chose and picked the family we are just because we needed to be able to say okay i'm gonna pick the most craziest family <laughs> with the most craziest situations and being able to find myself my true self out of that trouble being able to not ever doubt the things that's going on in your life because i mean it can be really painful for the things that you're going through a lot of y'all have shared the things 
that you have went through and which was very heartbreaking just to be able to hear because it's just what my guess when people tend to tell me things I, I see their you know their past life I see the situation they were currently in as children you know seeing all that you know those are things I really wish I couldn't see but it allowed me to be able to understand why you are the way you are why do you act the way you act why do you respond the way you respond you know what what is your strength what is your weakness you know I had to be able to discover that myself and being able to do that it's really become a blessing for me you know I see more and more every day when I when you know when I go through different things and being able to see you know what I truly need to see because it's like a lot of times I hear my mom my mom knows I've been really missing her lately so it's like I've been catching myself crying because I really miss my mom in the physical sense because you know during these times you know if you you are missing your parents you know have passed on and you're going through these times of struggle you know i'll be i'm like i want my mom you know and then especially the things that are occurring you know i really want my dad to be there but it's a blessing even though they can't be there on the physical they're always there in you know in the spiritual and it's like my mom yeah keep on you know when i get in my heart headed modes and want to get up in my feelings and start going off and this and this and that my mom kept telling me you know you know what i told you like when you were growing up you're gonna see everybody everybody passing you by and you're still gonna be doing the same stuff wrapped up with the same people you should have let go a long time ago don't let your you know don't let your blessings pass you up because you're engaging in something that you're not supposed to and she was clearly right you know she had to go through certain situations where she wished she should have could have would have so she tried to you know stop me from making the same mistakes she did and I'm, I'm very blessed that my mom, you know, kept reminding me of that, <laughs> you know, and I, I'm blessed that she was able to do that. But it's just like going through all these different things, you know, it, it will make you seem at times that, you know, you're not being heard. I remember in my video, it was like during my early stages, you know, I really thought God didn't hear me. People, the right people weren't hearing me, but it wasn't that case. God had to shut that, that, that down. For me it wasn't going to be an easy ride for me to be able to jump back into my biological family that wasn't meant for me to do that not at that point in time at that time you know the things were i didn't really know everything about myself at that time so being able to experience all these different things that has occurred in the last two and a half going on three years it's truly been a blessing to me even though it was it put me through hell but through, through that process allowed me to see myself for who i was and really get to know the potential you know um of what i can truly do for myself and i mean i'm glad that i had to go through that you know and i you know there i mean right before this i i cried you know being able to get blessings like that you know being able to get you know those confirmations from your numbers from synchronicity signs all these different things visions that come into me you know that allowed me to see how special i was you know what what mark am i going to be able to lay on the world you know, being able to help, you know, the people I can help, give them that words of encouragement when they feel lost, you know, being able to give myself that encouragement. I can't just give people pep talks and not be able to go with the pep talks I'm giving. You know, I had to, you know, I had to get pushed out the, you know, the, uh, the nest too, to be able to learn how to fly. You know, you know, you never know what your potential is until they push you, you know, when things all start getting cut off, you know, we get upset because either people don't want to help us or, you know, people don't want to acknowledge things that are going on in my life. I used to get very pissed, <laughs> you know, because there was a lot of people that knew about my situation and didn't say anything. You know, they, you know, they didn't like that because the fact is, you know, Prince had a daughter running around here and nobody, you know, wanted me to know that. You know, I was the butt of the joke, you know, um, I was water cooler talk, but it was just like, you know, I'm glad those people didn't help me. I'm glad they did. You know I did cut them out my life you know because I feel like you you know you're not gonna be there you know <laughs> with limitations put on there it's like either you in you're in you out you out but it's a blessing it did because it allowed me to apply myself to be able to know I could do this on my own you know there's everything happens for a reason you know that was in God's plan you know I had to be able to see that I could have been able to do this on my own so anything that is, occurs in my life that ever happened is because I worked hard for it and nobody sit up here and hand me anything 
and that was that's what he wanted me to see it's like you know because i even tell my kids you know they're like mom you know i've been supportive towards such and such and such and they weren't supportive towards me i said that's okay that's okay that tells a lot about their character as well as that tells a lot about yours but don't ever change your kindness of your heart don't ever do that it's just you choose and allow you to choose you know if they were there when they were in need but they couldn't be there for you that's fine but that that's when your chapter in it wasn't it probably wasn't meant for them to come back and help you you were probably supposed to be that blessing for that person and they part ways there's a lot of people that i've done that for there's a lot of people that prayed against me not getting that stuff because they seen what was instilled in me that i wasn't able to see at that time and i don't blame them for that you know it's just the fact is they're no longer in my life i pray that things get better for them whatever issues they had at that time they were able to heal from it and being able to see the things that they need to see in their life i don't wish nothing bad on anybody now back in the you know a few months ago oh it would have been a whole different story but now i'm just like uh-uh you know, I tell my kids all the time, don't, don't, you know, even friends of mine that I've seen, like on social media, they're talking about the same thing. I said, that's okay. Don't allow something because of somebody, how somebody treated you, make you look at the world different. You know, because there will be some people that will enter your life and be grateful for the things that you've done. And you'll probably still be in touch with them. But, you know, y'all still go your separate ways. But when y'all get in communication, it won't be a problem. Or there will be some people that you'll part ways with and you shouldn't be mad about that because it allows you to know that, okay, lesson learned. But now when they come back, you know, I've had people like that, that when I needed something, they weren't nowhere to be found. But as soon as they need something, they came knocking, hey, Roland, oh, I'll, st I'll step back and let you handle that. You know, I'll pray for you. <laughs> and that's it. You know, but I, I didn't, I don't, I didn't have no mixed feelings about that. There are so many people I don't cut out my life that, you know, I've known for years. I never thought I was going to be able to do. You know, a lot of people, you know, when they found out the things that I was telling them, they didn't want to believe it. And then they started seeing, yeah, this stuff is really true. Okay, I don't like this. Um, I don't, I'm going to make sure she don't get home. I'm just, just got to feed her with doubt, you know, be mean to her. Da, 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 da. You know, and that was okay. That was okay. I still stood my ground. I said, no matter how you feel about it or whatever, I'm still going to be his child. Even when I go to sleep and when I wake up. <laughs> yeah so it's just allowed me to go through all these different things being able to know my strength being able to know what my weaknesses are and work on those you know being able to see past you know all the dark times be able to find the blessings within those dark times even when bad days come still find blessing within that because it could have been far worse but when things occur in your life you know, and it make you question a lot of things. That's one thing you don't do is question God. You don't want to do that. Oh, Lord, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Jesus, you don't want to do that. But you have to really see, you know, even the hurt, the pain, you know, even the good times and the bad times, all those was going to teach you a lesson one way or another through the good and the bad experiences. It taught you something. It allowed you to see your weaknesses. It allowed you to see the things that, you know, when somebody tries to poke at your buttons you ain't got to engage in that you don't you know somebody want to argue with you hey i ain't trying to argue with you if we can't have a conversation that's cool if we can't we can't you know but i'm not gonna if it's gonna turn out to be an argument we can always debate we can always discuss but i ain't trying to argue with nobody because <laughs> that that you know that putting in too much energy in places that don't even need to be you know if something happens to you somebody shows their ass with you and want to be all that da, 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 da. okay you keep doing what you do you keep carrying on because while you over here not focusing on the negative so many blessings are going to come in from you but i had to learn if i keep engaging in in the negativity and the stupidity that's where all my energy is going to come in and go out to and i'm like no nah, i got bigger and better days coming I need to focus on things that I want in my life, not the ones I don't. That's why I tell people when they start talking to me, Rosalind, I don't eh, I don't, <laughs> don't want to hear nothing about what you don't want. It's not to be rude, but the fact is you don't want to manifest anything that you don't want in your life. And I have to keep telling myself that, you know, if I, I don't even when things go messed up in my life that I really didn't want to happen, I'm just like, okay, know what you want to do about this situation. All right. Can it be fixed? on your part can, is there anything you can do to be fixed okay if it can't hey let it go and let let, let the universe work with it 
you know it's just everything what you put out is what you what you get back you gotta remember that everything has a balance to it but basically you just really look at your situation look what your situation has taught you look what your si situation has also showed you as well you know um bad things happen to good people a lot you know good things happen to bad people a lot you know but trust and believe you know when things have gone in your life that is really hurt hurtful and people continue to do that just pray for them and just watch how the universe works in your favor and i'm gonna just leave it at that <laughs> so i hope you are able to resonate with this this something that somebody truly need to hear i don't know who needed to hear that today but you know don't question anything you go through just know that it's teaching you one one thing or another but it's allowing you to see your strengths allowing you to be able to understand your patience and your faith who you believe in having love for yourself having respect setting boundaries you know all these things come into play in god's plan so never question it so um i'm not gonna give any post notification shout outs because it starts 21 minutes long and i hopefully don't take a day and a half like the other three videos did from the other day so much love to you like and subscribe drop me a line and let me know if you resonate and i hope you have a blessed safe weekend this is gonna be friday so i'll probably get this on friday morning friday afternoon whatever but I hope you have a blessed, prosperous weekend. You know, um, like I said, hit the button, the notification button, hit the subscribe, drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. I hope you can relate to the video, uh, share, you know, tell your friends about me. And, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and know that you are truly blessed and highly favored and forever loved. And always know that somebody's praying for your better days. And I pray that all your dreams come true anything you are trying to push is going to come to fusion so i will see you on the next video much love peace